preface of homeward songs by the way this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by nemo homeward songs by the way by a e preface i moved among men in places and in living i learned the truth at last i know i am a spirit and that i went forth in old time from the self ancestral to labors yet unaccomplished but filled ever and again with homesickness i made these songs by the way a e end of preface Prelude by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Prelude. O, oh, be not led away, lured by the color of the sun-rich day. The gay romance of song unto the spirit life doth not belong. Though far between the hours in which the master of angelic powers lightens the dusk within the holy of holies be it thine to win rare vistas of white light half-parted lips through which the infinite murmurs her ancient story hearkening to whom the wandering planets hoary awaken primeval fires with deeper rapture and celestial choirs breathe and with fleeter motion wheel in their orbits through the surgeless ocean so hearken thou like these intent on her mounting by slow degrees until thy song's elation echoes her multitudinous meditation end a poem this recording is in the public domain the unknown god by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo the unknown god far up the dim twilight fluttered moth wings of vapor and flame the lights danced over the mountains star after star they came the lights grew thicker unheeded for silent and still were we our hearts were drunk with a beauty our eyes could never see and a poem this recording is in the public domain By the Margin of the Great Deep by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. By the Margin of the Great Deep. When the breath of twilight blows to flame the misty skies, all its vaporous sapphire, violet glow, and silver gleam, where their magic flood me through the gateway of the eyes, I am one with the twilight's dream. When the trees and skies and fields are one in a dusky mood, every heart of man is wrapped within the mother's breast, full of peace and sleep and dreams in the vasty quietude. I am one with their hearts at rest. From our immemorial joys of hearth and home and love, straight away along the margin of the unknown tide, all its reach of soundless calm can thrill me far above word or touch from the lips beside ay and deep and deep and deeper let me drink and draw from the olden fountain more than light or peace or dream such primeval being as o'er fills the heart with awe growing one with its silent stream end a poem this recording is in the public domain Desire by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Desire. With thee a moment, then what dreams have play? Traditions of eternal toil arise. Search for the high, austere, 
in lonely way the spirit moves in through eternities ah in the soul what memories arise and with what yearning inexpressible rising from long forgetfulness i turn to thee invisible unrumoured still white for thy whiteness all desires burn ah with what longing once again i turn and a poem this recording is in the public domain the place of rest by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo the place of rest the soul is its own witness and its own refuge unto the deep the deep heart goes it lays its sadness nigh the breast only the mighty mother knows the wounds that quiver unconfessed it seeks a deeper silence still it folds itself around with peace where thoughts alike of good or ill in quietness unfostered cease it feels in the unwounding vast for comfort for its hopes and fears the mighty mother bows at last she listens to her children's tears where the last anguish deepens there the fire of beauty smites through pain a glory moves amid despair the mother takes her child again and a poem this recording is in the public domain self-discipline by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo self-discipline when the soul sought refuge in the place of rest overborne by strife and pain beyond control from some secret hollow whisper soft confessed came the legend of the soul some bright one of old time laid his sceptre down so his heart might learn of sweet and bitter truth going forth bereft of beauty throne and crown and the sweetness of his youth so the old appeal and fierce revolt we make through the world's hour dies within our primal will and we justify the pain in hearts that break and our lofty doom fulfill and a poem this recording is in the public domain forgiveness by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo forgiveness at dusk the window panes grew gray the wet world vanished in the gloom the dim and silver end of day scarce glimmered through the little room and all my sins were told i said such things to her who knew not sin the sharp ache throbbing in my head the fever running high within i touched with pain her purity sin's darker sense i could not bring my soul was black as night to me to her i was a wounded thing i needed love no words could say she drew me softly nigh her chair my head upon her knees to lay with cool hands that caressed my hair she sat with hands as if to bless and looked with grave ethereal eyes and sold by ancient quietness a gentle priestess of the wise and a poem this recording is in the public domain pity by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo pity the twinkling mist of green and gold afloat in the abyss of air from out the window high and old we watch together there the monstrous fabric of the town lay black below the cries of pain came to our ears from up and down the dimly lighted lane olive your eyes were turned to me seeking a soul to sympathize i wondered what that glow might be 
olive within your eyes and to your trembling words there passed the sorrow that was sighed through you pity a breath from out the vast from unknown hollows blue and a poem this recording is in the public domain krishna by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo krishna i am beauty itself among beautiful things bhagavad gita the east was crowned with snow-cold bloom and hung with veils of pearly fleece they died away into the gloom vistas of peace and deeper peace and earth and air and wave and fire in awe and breathless silence stood for one who passed into their choir linked them in mystic brotherhood twilight of amethyst amid thy few strange stars that lit the heights where was the secret spirit hid where was thy place o light of lights the flame of beauty far in space where rose the fire in thee and me which bowed the elemental race to adoration silently and a poem this recording is in the public domain mystery by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo mystery why does this sudden passion smite me i stretch my hands all blind to see i need the lamp of the world to light me lead me and set me free something a moment seemed to stoop from the night with cool cool breath in my face or did the hair of the twilight droop from its silent wandering ways about me in the thick wood netted the wizard glow looks human wise and over the treetops barred and fretted ponders with strange old eyes the tremulous lips of air blow by me in him their time old melody its secret strain comes nigh and nigh me ah brother come with me for here the ancient mother lingers to dip her hands in the diamond dew and lave thine ache with cloud cool fingers till sorrow die from you end a poem this recording is in the public domain the singing silences by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo the singing silences while the yellow constellations shine with pale and tender glory in the lilac scented stillness let us listen to earth's story all the flowers like moss of flutter glimmer rich with dusky hues everywhere around us seem to fall from nowhere the sweet dews through the drowsy lull the murmur stir of leaf and sleepy hum we can feel a gay heart beating hear a magic singing come ah i think that as we linger lighting at earth's olden fire fitful gleams in clay that perish little sparks that soon expire so the mother brims her gladness from a life beyond her own from whose darkness as a fountain up the fiery days are thrown starry words that wheel in splendor sunny systems histories vast and nebulous traditions told in the eternities and our listening mother whispers through her children all the story come the yellow constellations shine with pale and tender glory end a poem this recording's in the public domain to one consecrated by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo to one consecrated your paths were all unknown to us we were so far away from you 
we mixed in thought your spirit thus with whiteness stars of gold and dew the mighty mother nourished you her breath blew from her mystic bowers their elfin glimmer floated through the pureness of your shadowy hours the mighty mother made you wise gave love that clears the hidden ways her glooms were glory to your eyes her darkness but the fount of days she made all gentleness in you and beauty radiant as the morns she made our joy in yours then threw upon your head a crown of thorns your eyes are filled with tender light for those whose eyes are dim with tears they see your brow is crowned and bright but not its ring of wounding spears and a poem this recording is in the public domain the great breath by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo the great breath its edges foamed with amethyst and rose withers once more the old blue flower of day there where the ether like a diamond glows its petals fade away a shadowy tumult stirs the dusky air sparkle the delicate dews the distant snows the great deep thrills for through it everywhere the breath of beauty blows i saw how all the trembling ages passed moulded to her by deep and deeper breath near to the hour when beauty breathes her last and knows herself in death End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Dusk by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Dusk. Dusk wraps the village in its dim caress. Each chimney's vapor, like a thin gray rod, mounting aloft through miles of quietness pillars the skies of god far up they break or seem to break their line mingling their nebulous crests that bow and nod under the light of those fierce stars that shine out of the calm of god only in clouds and dreams i felt those souls in the abyss each fire hid in its clod from which in clouds and dreams the spirit rolls into the vast of god and a poem this recording is in the public domain night by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo night heart hidden from the outer things i rose the spirit woke anew in nightly birth on to the vastness where forever glows the star soul of the earth there all alone in primal ecstasy within her depths where revels never tire the olden beauty shines each thought of me is veined through with its fire and all my thoughts are throngs of living souls they breathe in me heart unto heart allied their joy undimmed though when the morning tolls the planets may divide and a poem this recording's in the public domain. Dawn by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Dawn. Still as the holy of holies breathes the vast, within its crystal depths the stars grow dim. Fire on the altar of the hills at last burns on the shadowy rim moment that holds all moments white upon the verge it trembles then like mist of flowers break from the fairy fountain of the dawn the hues of many hours thrown downward from that high companionship of dreaming in most heart within most heart into the common daily ways i slip my fire from theirs apart and a poem this recording is in the public domain.
day by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo day in day from some titanic past it seems as if a thread divine of memory runs born ere the mighty one began his dreams or yet were stars and suns but here an iron will has fixed the bars forgetfulness falls on earth's myriad races no image of the proud and morning stars looks at us from their faces yet yearning still to reach to those dim heights each dream remembered is a burning glass where through to darkness from the light of lights its rays and splendor pass end a poem this recording is in the public domain echoes by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo echoes the might that shaped itself through storm and stress in chaos here is lulled and breathing sweet under the long brown ridge in gentleness its fierce old pulses beat quiet and sad we go at eve the fire that woke exultant in an earlier day is dead the memories of old desire only in shadows play we liken love to this and that our thought the echo of a deeper being seems we kiss because god once for beauty sought within a world of dreams and a poem this recording is in the public domain natural magic by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo natural magic we are tired who follow after fantasy and truth that flies you with only look and laughter stain our hearts with richest dyes when you break upon our study vanish all our frosty cares as the diamond deep grows ruddy filled with morning unawares with the stuff that dreams are made of but an empty house we build glooms we are ourselves afraid of by the ancient starlight chilled all unwise in thought or duty still our wisdom envies you we who lack the living beauty half our secret knowledge rue thought nor fear in you nor dreaming veil the light with mist about joy as through a crystal gleaming flashes from the gay heart out pain and penitence forsaking hearts like cloisters dim and gray by your laughter lured awaking join with you the dance of day end a poem this recording is in the public domain destiny by a e read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Destiny. Like winds or waters were her ways, the flowing tides, the airy streams, are troubled not by any dreams, they know the circle of their days. Like winds or waters were her ways, they heed not immemorial cries, they move to their high destinies beyond the little voice that prays she passed into her secret goal and left behind a soul that trod in darkness knowing not of god but craving for its sister soul and a poem this recording is in the public domain parting by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo parting as from our dream we died away far off i felt the outer things your wind-blown tresses round me play your bosom's gentle murmurings and far away our faces met as on the verge of the vast spheres and in the night our cheeks were wet i could not say with dew or tears as one within the mother's heart in that hushed dream upon the height we lived and then we rose to part because her ways are infinite and a poem 
This recording is in the public domain. Comfort by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Comfort. Dark head by the fireside brooding, where upon your ears whirlwinds of the earth intruding sound in wrath and tears tender-hearted in your lonely sorrow i would fain comfort you and say that only gods could feel such pain only spirits know such longing for the far away and the fiery fancies thronging rise not out of clay keep the secret sense celestial of the starry birth though about you call the bestial voices of the earth if a thousand ages since hurled us from the throne then a thousand ages wins back again our own sad one dry away your tears mount again anew in the great ancestral spheres waits the throne for you and a poem this recording is in the public domain Pain by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Pain. Men have made them gods of love, sun gods, givers of the rain, deities of hill and grove. I have made a god of pain. Of my god I know this much, and in singing I repeat, though there's anguish in his touch, yet his soul within is sweet. End a poem. This recording's in the public domain. Sung on a Byway by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Sung on a Byway. What have all the will to do? It has vanished long ago. For a dream shaft pierced it through from the unknown archer's bow what of all the soul to think someone offered it a cup filled with a diviner drink and the flame has burned it up what of all the hope to climb only in the self we grope to the misty end of time truth has put an end to hope what of all the heart to love sadder than for will or soul no light lured it on above love has found itself the whole and a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Our Thrones Decay by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Our Thrones Decay. I said my pleasure shall not move. It is not fixed in things apart. Seeking not love, but yet to love. I put my trust in mine own heart. I knew the fountain of the deep wells up with living joy unfed. Such joys the lonely heart may keep, and love grow rich with love unwed. Still flows the ancient fount sublime, but ah, for my heart shed tears, shed tears. Not it, but love has scorn of time, it turns to dust beneath the years. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Dawn of Darkness by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. The Dawn of Darkness. Come, Earth's little children, pipat from their burrows on the hill. Hangs within the gloom its weary head, the shining daffodil in the valley underneath us through the fragrance flit along over fields and hedgerows dim the little quivering drops of song all adown the pale blue mantle of the mountains far away stream the tresses of the twilight flying in the wake of day night comes soon alone shall fancy follow sadly in her flight where the fiery dust of evening shaken from the feet of light thrust its monstrous barriers 
between the pure the good the true that our weeping eyes may strain for but shall never after view only yester eve i watched with heart at rest the nebulae looming far within the shadowy shining of the milky way finding in the stillness joy and hope for all the sons of men now what silent anguish fills a night more beautiful than then for earth's age of pain has come and all her sister planets weep thinking of her fires of morning passing into dreamless sleep in this cycle of great sorrow for the moments that we last we too shall be linked by weeping to the greatness of her past but the coming race shall not know and the fount of tears shall dry and the arid heat of man be arid as the desert sky so within my mind the darkness dawned and round me everywhere hope departed with the twilight leaving only dumb despair end a poem this recording is in the public domain waiting by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo waiting when the dawn comes forth i wonder will our sad sad hearts awaken in the grief we labored under from the new in joy be shaken if the night be long in going all our souls will fix in sadness in the light of morning glowing waken in our eyes no gladness all unschooled in mirth we will not rouse forgotten joys from sleeping and the dawn our pain shall still not we will gaze on it with weeping and a poem this recording is in the public domain the last hero by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo the last hero we laid him to rest with tenderness homeward we turned in the twilight's gold we thought in ourselves with dumb distress all the story of earth is told a beautiful word at the last was said a great deep heart like the hearts of old went forth and the speaker had lost the thread or all the story of earth was told the dust hung over the pale dry ways dizzily fired with the twilight's gold and a bitter remembrance blew in each face how all the story of earth was told end a poem this recording is in the public domain the pain of earth by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo the pain of earth does the earth grow gray with grief for her hero darling fled though her veils let fall no leaf in our hearts her tears are shed still the stars laugh on above not to them her grief is said mourning for her hero love in our hearts the tears are shed we her children mourn for him mourn the elder hero dead in the twilight gray and dim in our hearts the tears are shed and a poem this recording is in the public domain on a hilltop by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo on a hilltop bearded with dewy grass the mountains thrust their blackness high into the still gray light deepening to blue far up the glimmering height in silver transience shines the starry dust silent the sheep about me fleece by fleece they sleep and stir not i with awe around wander uncertain o'er the giant mound a fire that moves between their peace and peace the city myriads dream or sleep below aloft another day has but begun under the radiance of the midnight sun the tree of life puts forth its leaves to grow 
wiser than they below who dream or sleep i know not but their day is dreamed to me and in their darkness i awake to see a thought that moves like light within the deep only from dream to dream our spirits pass well let us rise and fly from sphere to sphere some one of all unto the light more near mirrors the dreamer in its glowing glass and a poem this recording is in the public domain the hermit by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo the hermit now the quietude of earth nestles deep my heart within friendships new and strange have birth since i left the city's din here the tempest stays its guile like a big kind brother plays romps and pauses here a while from its immemorial ways now the silver light of dawn slipping through the leaves that fleck my one window hurries on throws its arms around my neck darkness to my doorway hies lays her chin upon the roof and her burning seraph eyes now no longer keep aloof and the ancient mystery holds its hands out day by day takes a chair and croons with me by my cabin built of clay when the dusky shadow flits by the chimney nook i see where the old enchanter sits smiles and waves and beckons me and a poem this recording is in the public domain epitaph by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo epitaph where is the priestess of this shrine and by what place does she adore the woodland haunt below the pine now hears her whisper evermore ah wrapped in her own beauty now she dreams a dream that shall not cease priestess to her own soul to bow is hers in everlasting peace and a poem this recording is in the public domain The Spirit of the Gay by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. The Spirit of the Gay With the glamour of the gay, how you made our hearts to flame, gave each life some airy aim. Ever round you seemed to play sunlight from some inner day, dazzling as with red and gold, rich with beauty, love, and youth how were we to know the truth that if all the tale were told life for you was sad and cold for you found if we would wake and the joy make young each heart you who told must stand apart and you bore it for our sake though your heart was nigh to break so your life was like a sphere's one side all aglow meets day and the other turned away icy strange and cold appears overhung with starry tears and a poem this recording's in the public domain om by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo om a memory faint grew the yellow buds of light far flickering beyond the snows as leaning o'er the shadowy white morn glimmered like a pale primrose within an indian vale below a child said home with tender heart watching with loving eyes the glow in dayshine fade and night depart the word which brahma at his dawn outbreathes and endeth at his night whose tide of sound so rolling on gives birth to orbs of pearly light and beauty wisdom love and youth by its enchantment gathered grow in age-long wandering to the truth through many a cycle's ebb and flow and here the voice of earth was stilled 
the child was lifted to the wise a strange delight his spirit filled and brahm looked from his shining eyes and a poem this recording is in the public domain The Golden Age by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. The Golden Age. When the morning breaks above us and the wild sweet stars have fled, by the fairy hands that love us, wakened you and I will tread. Where the lilacs on the lawn shine with all their silver dews in the stillness of a dawn wrapped in tender primrose hues we will hear the strange old song that the earth croons in her breast echoed by the feathered throng joyous from each leafy nest earth whose dreams are we and they with her heart's deep gladness fills all our human lips can say or the dawn-fired singer trills she is wrapped in dreams divine as her clouds of beauty pass on our glowing hearts they shine mirrored there as in a glass so when all the vapors gray from our flowery path shall flit and the dawn begin the day we will sing that song to it ere its yellow fervor flies oh we are so glad of youth whose first sweetness never dies nourished by eternal truth and a poem this recording is in the public domain Indian Song by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Indian Song Shadowy petaled like the lotus loom the mountains with their snows. Through the sapphire soma rising such a flood of glory throws as when first in yellow splendor Brahma from the lotus rose. High above the darkening mounds where fade the fairy lights of day all the tiny planet folk are waving us from far away thrilled by brahma's breath they sparkle with the magic of the gay brahma all alone in gladness dreams the joys that throng in space shepherds all the whirling splendors onward to their resting place where at last in wondrous silence fade in one the starry race and a poem this recording is in the public domain Dust by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Dust. I heard them in their sadness say, The earth rebukes the thought of God. We are but embers wrapped in clay, a little nobler than the sod. But I have touched the lips of clay, Mother, thy rudest sod to me is thrilled with fire of hidden day and haunted by all mystery and a poem this recording is in the public domain the vesture of the soul by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo the vesture of the soul i pitied one whose tattered dress was patched and stained with dust and rain he smiled on me i could not guess the viewless spirit's wide domain he said the royal robe i wear trails all along the fields of light its silent blue and silver bare for gems the starry dust of night the breath of joy unceasingly waves to and fro its fold starlit and far beyond earth's misery i live and breathe the joy of it End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Childhood by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Childhood. How I could see through and through you. So unconscious, tender, kind more than ever was known to you of the pure ways of your mind we who long to rest from strife 
labor sternly as a duty but a magic in your life charms unknowing of its beauty we are pools whose depths are told you are like a mystic fountain issuing ever pure and cold from the hollows of the mountain we are men by anguish taught to distinguish false from true higher wisdom we have not but a joy within guides you and a poem this recording is in the public domain inheritance by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo inheritance as flow the rivers to the sea adown from rocky hill or plain a thousand ages toiled for thee and gave thee harvest of their gain and weary myriads of yore dug out for thee earth's buried ore the shadowy toilers for thee fought in chaos of primeval day blind battles with they knew not what and each before he passed away gave clear articulate cries of woe your pain is theirs of long ago and all the old heart sweetness sung the joyous life of man and maid in forests when the earth was young and rumors round your childhood strayed the careless sweetness of your mind comes from the buried years behind and not alone unto your birth their gifts the weeping ages bore the old descents of god on earth have dowered thee with celestial lore so wise and filled with sad and gay you pass unto the further day and a poem this recording is in the public domain three counsellors by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo three counsellors it was the fairy of the place moving within a little light who touched with dim and shadowy grace the conflict at its fever height it seemed to whisper quietness then quietly itself was gone yet echoes of its mute caress were with me as the years went on it was the warrior within who called awake prepare for fight yet lose not memory in the din make of thy gentlest thy might make of thy silence words to shake the long enthroned and kings of earth make of thy will the force to break their towers of wantonness and mirth it was the wise all-seeing soul who counseled neither war nor peace only be thou thyself that goal in which the wars of time shall cease and a poem this recording is in the public domain the symbol seduces by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo the symbol seduces there in her old world garden smiles a symbol of the world's desire striving with quaint and lovely wiles to bind to earth a soul of fire and while i sit and listen there the robe of beauty falls away from universal things to wear its image dazzles for a day away the great life calls i leave for beauty beauty's rarest flower for truth the lips that ne'er deceive for love i leave love's haunted bower and a poem this recording's in the public domain sacrifice by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo sacrifice those delicate wanderers the wind the star the cloud ever before mine eyes as to an altar bowed light in dew-laden airs offer and sacrifice the offerings arise hazes of rainbow light pure crystal blue and gold 
through dreamland take their flight and mid the sacrifice god moveth as of old in miracles of fire he symbols forth his days in gleams of crystal light reveals what pure pathways lead to the soul's desire the silence of the height and a poem this recording is in the public domain truth by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo truth the hero first thought it to him twas a deed to those who retaught it a chain on their speed the fire that we kindled a beacon by night when darkness has dwindled grows pale in the light for life has no glory stays long in one dwelling time has no story that's true twice in telling and only the teaching that never was spoken is worthy thy reaching the fountain unbroken and a poem this recording is in the public domain warning by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo warning pure at heart we wander now comrade on the quest divine turn not from the stars your brow that your eyes may rest on mine pure at heart we wander now we have hopes beyond today and our quest does not allow rest or dreams along the way we are in our distant hope one with all the great and wise comrade do not turn or grope for some lesser light that dies we must rise or we must fall love can know no middle way if the great life do not call then is sadness and decay End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Divided by A. E. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Divided. In childhood's days we were not apart. One spirit breathed in your heart and my heart. It flowed through us in our childhood days as hosts that march through the broad highways the ancient magic is over and dead for love awoke and the voices fled we know no more of this superhuman i am man and you are woman and a poem this recording is in the public domain the veils of maya by a e read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. The Veils of Maya. Mother, with whom our lives should be, not hatred keeps our lives apart. Charmed by some lesser glow in thee, our hearts beat not within thy heart. Beauty, the face, the touch, the eyes, prophets of thee allure our sight. From that unfathomed deep where lies thine ancient loveliness and light self found at last the joy that springs being thyself shall once again start thee upon the whirling rings and through the pilgrimage of pain and a poem this recording is in the public domain symbolism by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo symbolism now when the spirit in us wakes and broods filled with home yearnings drowsily it flings from its deep heart high dreams and mystic moods mixed with the memory of the loved earth things clothing the vast with a familiar face reaching its right hand forth to greet the starry race wondrously near and clear the great warm fires stare from the blue so shows the cottage light to the field laborer whose heart desires the old folk by the nook the welcome bright from the housewife long parted from at dawn so the star villages in god's great depths were drawn nearer to thee 
not by delusion led though there no house fires burn nor bright eyes gaze we rise but by the symbol charioted through love things rising up to love's own ways by these the soul unto the vast has wings and sets the seal celestial on all mortal things and a poem this recording is in the public domain prayer by a e read for LibriVox.org by nemo prayer let us leave our island woods grown dim and blue o'er the waters creeping the pearl dust of the eve hides the silver of the long wave rippling through to chill for the warm room let us leave turn the lamp down low and draw the curtain wide so the grayness of the starlight bathes the room let us see the giant face of night outside though vague as a moth wings is the gloom rumor of the fierce pulsed city far away breaks upon the peace that aureoles are rest steeped in stillness as if some primeval day hung drowsily o'er the water's breast shut the eyes that flame and hush the heart that burns in quiet we may hear the old primeval cry god gives wisdom to the spirit that upturns let us adore now you and i age on age is heaped about us as we hear cycles hurry to and fro with giant tread from the deep unto the deep but do not fear for the soul on hearing them is dead and a poem this recording is in the public domain magic by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo magic after reading the upanishads out of the dusky chamber of the brain flows the imperial will through dream on dream the fires of life are under tempt and gleam the lights of earth behind it fade and wane pass beyond beauty tempting dream on dream the pure will seeks the heart hold of the light sounds the deep om the mystic word of might forth from the heart hold breaks the living stream passed out beyond the deep heart music filled the kingly will sits on the ancient throne wielding the sceptre fearless free alone knowing in brahma all it dared and willed and a poem this recording is in the public domain the secret by a e read for librivox dot org by nemo the secret one thing in all things have i seen one thought has haunted earth and air clangor and silence both have been its palace chambers everywhere i saw the mystic vision flow and live in men in woods and streams until i could no longer know the dream of life from mine own dreams sometimes it rose like fire in me within the depths of my own mind and spreading to infinity it took the voices of the wind it scrawled the human mystery dim heraldy on light and air wavering along the starry sea i saw the flying vision there each fire that in god's temple lit burns fierce before the inner shrine dimmed as my fire grew near to it and darkened at the light of mine at last at last the meaning caught the spirit wears its diadem it shakes at wondrous plumes of thought and trails the stars along with them and a poem this recording is in the public domain end of homeward songs by the way by a e